Well, let's hope this is a good Wolverine movie, unlike the accident. We don't talk about the accident. And we stand together. X-Men. having these um these nightmares about like what what he did to Jean. Like when he stabbed Jean in the gut and he's all like Aah! basically cries himself to sleep every night until he gets a message from a friend of his no some, he's like basically um he gets a message from a person he saved back in the World War Two during the Nakasaki bombing where this guy says, Hey, I can give you the chance to be a mortal you know, be a moral being so you can die, since, let's face it, Logan is all like, everywhere I go, people die. So he's actually taking the chance to take it, honestly, and that makes him mortal. But he also has to guard Yukio, and he has to take down this evil bad guy, and yeah. That's basically what I can say about the plot. In terms of positives, I can say about the movie, Hugh Jackman is always awesome as Wolverine. He is really good in this movie. And you really do feel sympathy for him as he's all like, I want to die right now, I just want to die. Though to be fair, this is much better done in Logan, which, don't get me wrong, we'll talk about that movie when we get to it. And I was trying to look at my DVD case to see where it was. But still. Um, also, I think the action is pretty good in this movie. Um, the stuff like the bullet train fight was awesome. And I do like that one moment where he's like trying to like get away from those guys with the, the arrows. Yeah, sorry about that. But, still, also, I like some of the other characters. I like Yu-Gi-Oh! She's a nice character. Though she is better done in Deadpool. Yeah, I just said that. Um, also, I do think the movie does have a nice, clear, mellow drama to it. My only major problem with the movie is the character known as Viper. Since, oh god, she was not very well done in this movie. Basically, in case you don't know, Viper isn't a mutant. She's basically what would happen if... Black Widow was a bad guy, but here they decided to scrap that idea and just make her like a superpowered being. That's stupid. And I'll admit, as much as I do enjoy the final battle against Wolverine and the Silver Samurai, yeah, it does feel a little bit out of tone with this movie. I mean, at least it's only like, okay, not going to get into too much detail of Avengers Endgame since I already did a spoiler review for that movie, but at least when that movie had its action, it at least made sense. Here, stuff like him fighting the Silver Samurai thing and like doing, having like say, this ninja sword that's on fire like this, rah, 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 it's kind of stupid. And also one thing that does bother me is that this guy is all like, oh, I'm going to take use your healing factor in order to make me younger. That's not, the, that's not how the healing factor works. Basically, it only makes him slowly age. It doesn't make him younger. If that were the case, then he, then he'd be a teenager. Oh god. But overall, I do like the Wolverine. Is it a perfect movie? No, no, no. It's not as good as X Men, um, First Class. But it hey, it's definitely a million times better than the travesty that was X Men Origins Wolverine. So yeah, that's so basically all I can say about or about Wolverine. So yeah, um. See you all later, where we get to talk about the X-Men, Days of Future Past, which is a movie I really, really love. So see you all later, and bye. Oh my god, guys, I am so sorry. I am such a bloody moron. Oh, I forgot to give this movie a rating. So, overall rating for The Wolverine, 8 out of 10. Um, not bad movie at all, but hey, not the best X-Men movie, nor the worst X-Men movie. So, for real time, see you all later, and join me tomorrow when we take a look at the Days of the Future Past. So, overall rating, 
eight out of ten. See you later. Bye.